Listen, um, our Kamarnaka team that you guys need to be concerned about, they seem to be sort of sneaking up behind you. They've gone under the radar a wee bit. Yeah, they're uh, they're a great side. They've got some some really good football players. Um, picked up some good results, so it's going to be another tough tough game for us. Um, but every game uh, in this league has been very difficult this year, um, but we've got to go in with full of confidence because we've started the season season pretty well. What's the, the frustrations like after last week's result against Ross County? Yeah, obviously we're frustrated as a squad that we didn't manage to get a goal. We had a lot of um, chances. We've created loads. Um, but I think it was just going to be one of those days in the end that we, we were never going to score. Um, but full, um, we, we, we didn't concede any goals, which was good for us. Uh, another clean sheet for the, for the boys at the back, which is great. And it gives us a little bit of momentum going into the next one. You've not scored for a few weeks yourself. Is that something that sort of ever plays on your mind? Is it, is it easy to sort of shrug those those kind of thoughts off? Yeah, obviously it's frustrating. Um, you go into every game um, thinking you're going to score and you do leave a game a little bit frustrated when you don't, especially when you get a few chances. But as a striker, you go through these little spells and it's down to me to, to work hard on the training pitch and, and try and make it right. So have got another opportunity against Kilmarnock. Um, to get one and help the team win. Is it harder when you're perhaps going through a wee bit of a lull just in terms of scoring, but then you see Kevin's sort of in red hot form? How's that? Is oh, no, I, I'm, I'm delighted for him. Um, the only thing which is a bit of a pain is that I know I'm on 99 professional goals. So I've got <laughs> yeah. one for the big 100. So that's wow. killing me even more. So, um, nah, Kev's been outstanding since he's come in. And I think we complement each other quite well. And he's, he's, scored, he's a natural goal scorer and he works his socks off. So I couldn't be more happy for him. Has that figure been playing anything in your mind at all? Have you been snatching at things, thinking this could be your, your big your big turn up? No, it's not not really. But I just I know that it's it's there. So uh, to get the next one will be will be massive for my career. I think so. Um, it'll be nice when I finally get it. So hopefully it's soon because it's been a bit frustrating the last couple of games. I suppose it is one of those ones where you don't want that run to sort of linger on and linger on and then you know then it does become something else. Yeah, well, well that's it. So uh, hopefully I can um, take my next opportunity when it comes um, and then go on to the next target. Cheers, Kirsten. Yeah, you been on remember your Sorry, Ben. Can you say that again? Sorry. On you go, Gabriel. On you go. So, Christian, yeah, uh, three goals for you so far this season. Obviously, the team's been doing well, but how, how do you rate your personal performances? I think I've done OK. Um, some games, I think, I've contributed to the team and played well. Um, other games, obviously, scored a few goals in um, important games. The winner against Dundee, which which helped us get three points. Um, the equaliser against Rangers. Um, they're massive points for us. So, I think um, it's been a bit on and off but um, I try to work as hard as I can and I try to be a good teammate and uh, that's that's all that matters to me is is winning games of football and uh, the team's been doing well so I think the whole squad in general has been doing good You're 11 games into the season which is one full round of fixtures how have you as a squad assessed your start and do you think you can improve from here? Yeah I think we can definitely improve um, I think what's massive for us is how well we've defended I think we've con- uh, conceded hardly any goals, which is which is great for us. And uh, and the new signings have been fantastic. Obviously, Kev's come in and hit the ground running. Um, but there's still time to improve. Um, it's time to strengthen. We're we're working very hard on on different formations, different different players, different personnel, and um, we've got players on the bench who are waiting to come on and, and affect games. So I think we're only going to improve. Talk about that defensive solidity. Do you, do you enjoy the defensive? aspect of the game as a striker yeah I love it um, I think it's probably one of my strengths um, is working hard for the team um, even like defensive set players I love going back and, and winning headers and, and helping the team um, and I think this year I think we've been really resilient um, I think we've been good uh, defending set plays and um, I think we could do a little bit better with the attacking set plays but it's still there to improve on and uh, we're just going to keep keep going and hopefully things tick Saturday. Uh, just on your, um, you were saying you're near 100 goals, do you remember your first one? Yeah, it was against Luton Town away. Um, I think we were 2-0 down, no, 3-0 down and uh, 
I was in and out of the team and he just threw me on for the last five minutes and it was just, I think it was the, my first touch, I think it was just a cross and just jumped and time, time, what, timed it well and it flew off my head straight in the back of the net. But obviously we lost, but it was a proud moment uh, to get my first football league goal. And do you take much into sort of these landmark goals? Obviously, you can hit 50, 100. Do you take much to do them or is it just another goal for you? Well, obviously, it's nice. Like, turning pro at 21 and playing uh, in League Two in England and stuff. I, after my first season, I didn't really think I was going to be good enough. didn't really have a great start to my career. And to, I don't know what, seven years later, I'm nearly in 100. So it's definitely a proud moment. But... Um, I want to keep improving and keep doing better and helping my team win games, which is the most important thing overall. And when you consider just sort of the start you had at Hibs, like how much you've come on since then to sort of be, Hibs is probably is definitely going to be the club you hit that 100 goal mark with all things going well for you, but could you have pictured that sort of this time last year? Um, well, I, as a striker, you always believe you're going to score goals. And obviously with my rough patch last year, it, there's loads of things that, that happen um, that explains that, you know, it, it's, it's not not easy um, coming to a new club and getting used to the new environment and stuff. I was, I was happy at home. Um, but as soon as things click as a striker, you go on a little run and that seemed to happen for, for every club I've played for so far. Hi, Christian. Um, just taking you back to that partnership with Nisbet, are you enjoying it? And uh, how far do you think he'll go in the game? He's got a, he's got a great chance of going very far. He's still young. He's got a great size to him. He's strong. He's fast. But he works his he works his socks off, and, he, and he's very good in front of goal. He's the instincts there. You know, he's, he's got good movement, strikes the ball very well, and hopefully, I can help him improve. And um, I think. We work as a peer very well. We, we work hard and I think that's the most important thing to, to help the team. Um, I think the manager, he likes, to, likes us to defend from the front and I think me and him do that well and I think that's something that he's definitely approved since he's come here. Um, but he, he can go as far as he wants, really. He's got, he's got a great future ahead of him. He's, he's got to keep working hard. Uh, and in terms of COVID, you've... Fortunately, uh, Hib's not been affected. Touchwood, uh, it'll continue to stay that way. But there's been a lot of talk with the SPFL this week about handing out mandatory 3-0 defeats should your team not be able to, to provide a, a full squad for a game. How would you feel about that as a player if that was to happen to yourselves? Well, it's disappointing. You, you don't want to lose any game and to not even go to the game and lose 3-0 wouldn't be great. I'm sure the defenders wouldn't be happy with that because clean sheet's gone. But, um, you know... It's, it's frustrating, but it's a difficult time for everyone at the moment. And um, whatever the people in charge thinks best for the, for the game, I, I'm there for, to, to agree with them. But um, obviously, I'd be extremely frustrated if that happened to us. And finally, ahead of your match tomorrow, how is Jack Gret Ross preparing the team? How does he go about with the, the team talks for tomorrow? Is it all positive or are you really thinking about Kilmarnock's side, which of course has changed recently over the past couple of matches with the COVID? Well, always really positive. Um, the the schedule has been exactly the same as it normally is. Um, a lot of tactics, uh, a lot of fun, which is most important. And um, yeah, we're in good spirits. Um, start the season well, and it's just about taking another one off and going to the next game and trying to get a win.